You're live, you moron! <clears throat> Good evening. Making headlines tonight, Scum Labs stunned the world today with news that they've invented a time machine. What once was only science fiction is now science fact. Let's go now to the facility where Dr. Yuri Nall is standing by to present the technical analysis. As everyone knows, it's a simple process to create a temporal fissure by colliding strange hadrons at energies exceeding 100 tera electron volts. But it took my genius to use passive and active feedback to resolve the multi-bunch transverse instabilities. And once the synchrometatrons in the meson cloud have been realigned, any idiot who specializes in superferics and cosine theta physics would accomplish time travel. Uh, thank you, Doctor. That is truly fascinating. <clears throat> uh. <clears throat> In breaking news, released just moments ago, it appears as though a situation has developed at Scum Labs. Let's rejoin the doctor to see if he can help shed some light on this new development. First says that there's absolutely no cause for concern, and furthermore, reports of any mishaps here at the lab are surely exaggerated. There was a minor incident earlier involving one of our huge mutant monsters, but we were quick to remedy the situation. Uh, with that note of reassurance, I think we'll all rest easier. Thank you, Doctor. <clears throat> well, that's a relief, for if the monsters were to enter the time portal, who knows? At which moment in history, their devastation would fall. Okay, George, go ahead and try soda A. Uh. Now, try soda S. Uh. 
<laughs> wow! That's good soda! It's like there's a party in my mouth! Okay, so the taste test didn't go quite as well as we would have liked. As you can see, we've had some negative reaction to scum soda from a few individuals. But we're handling it, Mr. Z. We're on top of the situation. This is not a problem. How many? What? How many people had a negative reaction? Well, we're still working the numbers on that one, Mr. Z, but I would say, roughly speaking, 30? I see. 30. And how many people tried scum soda? Uh, 30. So what you're saying is that we've got 30 of these... these monsters running around loose somewhere! This is a complete disaster! When the press gets a hold of this, scum labs will no, be ruined! No, no, no. This is not a problem. We've managed to contain the damage. Contained? Oh, yeah. And I mean that literally. If I may... The entire test group has been cryogenically frozen and sealed in specially designed, highly secure storage containers. As long as the subjects remain in the cryotubes, they pose no real danger. I've also taken the added precaution of having the cryotubes hidden, where it's highly unlikely that anyone is ever going to find them. And besides, what's a few cases of genetic mutation? Trust me on this, Mr. Z. Scum soda is going to be huge! We'll launch on schedule and scum labs will make billions. These little incidents are not a problem. Gentlemen, we have a problem.
I just got... Not now. Oh my goodness, he just ate three toys. But I just got the new... Not Mom now. Put them into his mouth like they were, like they were candy. I, I, I don't know anything about the toys. I think they were German. There will be more on that later. Lu Lucifer's beard. Ah, uh, this is horrible. Scum Labs will be wiped out! Whoa, hold on a second. I just got the new sales report. Scum Soda is sold out everywhere, and new orders are pouring in. We're going to make billions. These monsters are the greatest publicity stunt ever. But what about the side effects? I thought Scum Soda caused people to turn into monsters. Well, yeah, but nobody seems to care. Everyone loves Scum Soda. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Channel 3 News at 2, your number one source for information. I'm Mike Malloy reporting. Today, our lead story has to do with monsters. Yes, monsters. Today, there are 30 different monsters rampaging through our world's great cities. These strange abominations are destroying everything in their path. But who are they? What motivates them? The short answer is that they are humans mutated into giants by drinking scum cola. However, each retains their human personality. George, for example, smashes the casinos where he lost thousands playing blackjack. Ramsey, a compulsive chocoholic, goes for the entire factory. Marco, an entertainment lawyer from L.A., tries to cut a deal. And Wally likes to eat Chinese takeout. Often, because they are so misunderstood, two of these monsters will give each other support. Ralph and Amanda enjoy evening strolls through Chicago. Like most lovers, Jack and Jill still have their disagreements, and no one appreciates fine dining more than Lizzie and Harry. Is there a place in our society for these giant, people-eating monsters? Can our cities survive the onslaught of destruction these creatures are bringing forth? Can we find compassion for the mutationally challenged? I'm Mike Malloy, reporting. This portion of the Channel 3 News has been brought to you by Rampage Total Destruction. Coming spring 2006. Rated everyone 10 and up.